Hey everyone, welcome back to another Houdini tutorial. Um, this is part three of the Vellum series. Um, and in this uh, tutorial, I'm going to cover um, how to make uh, kind of an RBD slash soft body simulation. And I'm also going to cover how to tear, um, to tear cloth as well. So this is the effect that we're gonna be creating. And let's go ahead and hop over to Houdini. Okay, here we are in Houdini. Um, as usual, drop down in geometry. And I'm going to go relatively fast uh, in this tutorial because some of this stuff uh, you should know already um, from the previous tutorials. So if for some reason I skip over something or move too fast, I would just refer to the other lessons. Um, all right. So let's make a grid five by five to make it a little bit smaller. Um, doesn't really matter about the rows and columns because we're going to remesh this. Um, and this is I'm just typically just I'm just going to set up uh, this little trampoline catcher thing here. Uh, so we we'll lower the edge down, the target size down to something relatively manageable. Um, the next thing I'm going to do is a edge fracture. Um, this is going to be a new node. And basically what this node does is it cuts your, um, your piece of cloth or whatever you're working on. Um, and it cuts it into these various pieces. Um, you can also use curves, which I'm going to use. So I'm just going to use a curve spline. jump over here into our viewport and I'm just going to cut through there. Then I'm going to do the same thing again and just kind of cut randomly through there. Then I'm going to merge these together and put that into the second input of our edge fracture. And now what we're going to see, we're going to uncheck initial pieces and uh, let's redo that and go into there show guides there we go and now you can see these are cuts um, we can resample these in the edge fracture node so i'll just resample up to a little like 0 0.5 0 0.58 <clears throat> all right after that we need a pin group um, for our edges so we can so this thing doesn't just fall through the floor um you know what Let's also do a transform here. I'm just going to move it up off the floor a little bit like so down to our group, enable base group, set the points, and then we're just going to grab some points. I'm just holding shift, hit enter. Now we've got a pin group. We're good to go. And then let's go ahead and run this into a Vellum configure cloth like this. And let's also do a Vellum points. And what this well points does is it basically um, creates these constraints across the edge fracture. Um, which will be able to break these with a certain amount of pressure um, or uh, breaking threshold here. So in the in this constraints node, in the weld, um, you hit, get this breaking uh, attribute and there's a threshold here. We'll just set it up to 0.5. That'll have to be dialed in um, later on. And then in our cloth, let's set our pen group. And I think that's it for now for this object. Um, so let's just window this and call it, um, I don't know, tramp. So this is all set. So now let's make some objects uh, to drop into our trampoline. So we're just going to do a cube. And let's do a tube. 
and for the tube itself let's go ahead and make the radius zero so we get a little pyramid thing and add end caps <clears throat> and then a cube so now I've got these kind of these three objects um, and I'm just going to merge these just for simplicity sake for now just so we can see them all together um, I'm going to make a transform on all, each one of these and then I'm going to template our grid or our trampoline because I want these to I want these things to drop into the trampoline so I'll move the cube up Uh, did I make two cubes? I did. Um, let's make a sphere. Put that into that one. And that should be just fine. Um, then I'm going to remesh each of these. It's always good to remesh any objects you're going to use uh, in Vellum just to get a nice <clears throat> edge length. Um, this one you can see it's kind of falling apart a little bit so I can go over to the remesh mess around with this. Yeah, that's good enough. And then the cube, we're just going to subdivide that. Um, override crease weight, just crank that up, and then crank up our divisions here. And then remesh. Like so. All right, so there we've got our three objects. Now, um, the new part of this tutorial is we're going to do uh, packing and unpacking with vellum. Um, so each one of these objects, if I just ran this into um, just a, <clears throat> into a solver, these three objects would all have to have the same constraints. And sometimes you may not want that. Say we want the sphere to be a balloon, but we want the tube to be, um, we want it to retain its shape and say, we want the cube to be a balloon, but like a little bit softer or something. Um, you could do that with groups, but this way is the way I've learned to do it. Um, I'm sure there's other ways as well. So let's go ahead and get rid of this merge. And I'm basically going to set up, uh, let's use a balloon, three different vellum objects here. Um, so all I did was just make a configure balloon, and I'm not going to mess with any of these uh, constraints or anything. Um, these will just be straight out of the box constraints. Um, the next one, I'm going to use just a vellum constraint, like so, and I'm going to change the constraint type to shape match. Um, and what basically what shape match does is it makes really strong springs so this thing doesn't deform and acts like an RBD. And then lastly, <clears throat> let's do another configure balloon for our cube. So now we've got these three vellum objects. Uh, we need to pack them. So we're going to do a vellum pack and we want the geometry and the constraints for each of those and then I'm just going to hold down alt to duplicate this three times 
and now they are all packed together which is what we need um, then we're gonna go back to let me try to arrange this a little better and we need a vellum pack for our trampoline object like so and then we're going to merge all of those packs together like this and now everything is in one kind of ecosystem they're all packed but then we need to unpack these so vellum unpack and now they're back to their separate objects. Um, we don't need to do anything up here. And then we drop down a Velm Solver. Like so. All right, so I think that's all we need to do. This weld, now remember I said we we're gonna have to iterate this threshold. So now we're gonna see how that threshold handles our objects. So let's just hit play up. Oh, you know what? Let's do one last thing. Let's add a ground plane in here. Yeah, like that. That'll work. And let's just move it down a little bit and turn our grid off. And let's run the simulation and see what we get. Nice. Got the tear right off the bat. And you can see the different objects here. Um, let me turn that template off so you can see it. So you can see our our cone here retained its shape and volume, and then the cube and the sphere uh, have that balloon and they're still acting a little bit differently because they're being run in a separate constraint. Um, and you can see everything tore the way it should. And that's that. Uh, thanks for watching.